this episode, we're going to have a look at a blog post system that can accept comments. And the interesting thing about these comments is that if we enter in one, we can then create the comment, and then you'll see that we have a button. And the focus of this episode is going to be creating this button, the code behind it, and also an API wrapper for the OpenAI API. So when we click the button, it'll make a request, and then that request will be an AI response. And so there's a lot of different use cases that we can do with this with OpenAI, and they have a pretty extensive AI. So if you just want some kind of text generation, or if you wanted to have some kind of code generation, which GitHub's Copilot actually uses Codex under the hood, and there's many more examples. And so in this episode, we're going to be using the OpenAI and the DaVinci model in order to have this AI bot response. And because we are using the API, it is a paid solution. But if you sign up for a free account, you can get about $18 worth of credit that can be used within the first three months. And so the cost associated with this is going to vary depending on the amount of traffic to your website, as well as how much the actual AI is going to be used. But as we'll see, we do have some mitigating factors that we can do to limit the usage. And then we're also going to be creating an API wrapper around OpenAI because it's one of those things where we are creating an API request for one external API. But in our application, there's good chances that there's going to be many more APIs that we're going to be interacting with. And without bringing in any external libraries, I would like to just create a simple wrapper that we're then going to be able to reuse within our application. And did you know that you can go to railstore.com to get your own Ruby on Rails t-shirt or your Drift and Ruby t-shirt? To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the Pro Membership.